Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video with me ABM Farhan. This is my channel Tech Tech 2 and today we are going to reviewing the Halo GT 2S. Now this is a budget TWS offering and let's find out whether this Halo does provide a solid feature set for its price point. Alright, in your usual manner at first let's talk about the build quality of this device. So, so the outer shell or the case is made up of a matte textured plastic i mean the dimensions here are pretty nice it's not that big it's not that small but it's of a perfect size and pretty carryable if you ask me the matte plastic here is black colored and unfortunately you cannot get this in any other color variants such as white or any other colors but that would have been nice now the TWS themselves or the true wireless earbuds themselves are also made up of a matte black colored plastic the button themselves are pretty tactile and has various functionalities which we'll discuss more on later on in the video the ear tips themselves are pretty comfortable they are soft enough but one thing i have noticed is that this nozzle or the part that gets inside your ears are kind of different so third party earbuds won't fit and even if it does the earbuds won't fit in the case so don't lose the stock ear tips from halo now the buds fit in quite nicely to be honest uh, this reaches quite deep in your ears so some might feel uncomfortable at first but over time you really do get used to it earbuds fit nicely and i haven't had a single time when it felt like the earbuds would fall off my ears and as the earbuds are flat on the outside it's not a bullet like earphone you can definitely sleep with these on or lie down on your bed without facing any kind of discomfort comfort to be honest this does isolate a fair amount of noise outside but this is nothing extraordinary i have heard much better noise isolation from other earbuds at this price point or even lower for example the lenovo lp ones now let's talk about the sound quality and this is definitely something that i am pretty impressed at this price point so basically this is a more neutral sounding earphones and the there isn't much emphasis on either the bass or the treble which means this is not a hard v-shaped equalization starting off with the bass the bass is not overly emphasized yes there is a slight um, peak at the bass uh, especially in the mid bass section but the bass overall is pretty pleasant and really enjoyable there is extension up to the sub bass so nothing feels lacking however the mid bass is more prominent than the sub bass here now the sub bass thump won't blow you away as the quantity is not as much but however the quality is definitely there and to be honest i have nothing to complain about this bass it gets a solid four out of five for me talking about the mids the mids here is a hit or miss if you're talking about female vocals the female vocal sounds really pleasant energetic and i haven't had any kind of upper mid peaks so nothing about the female vocals will sound fatiguing to you however about the male vocals they do come out a bit sharper and a bit thin as there isn't much emphasis on the lower mid this done so that there isn't much um, bass bleed into the mids i can definitely appreciate that as there isn't actually any kind of bleeds into the mid but however i would have loved a bit more lower mid frequencies so the mid actually performs around a 4.2 out of 5 for me talking about the treble these are definitely some of the strengths of the cr phones it's not fatiguing it's really energetic and fast and also there is a really nice extension so that the trebles don't sound thin and every song that i've listened to gave me a musical a good musical representation so i haven't felt like this is too dark or dull at all so this gets around a 4.5 out of 5 for me talking about the imaging this is one of the best tws for its sound imaging because at this price point i haven't heard something that lets me decide precisely where the instruments are i can definitely pinpoint the stereo meaning i can pinpoint the sounds coming from the left channel or the right channel there is a somewhat of a good surround experience which means the sound stage is fairly broader than average and the imaging is excellent for that stereo separation this gets around a uh, 5 out of 5 for me at this price point apart from the sound quality let's talk about the functionalities so this in terms of technicalities has aac codec along with the default sbc 
it also comes with a 7.2 millimeter driver inside and this also has a digital signal processing chip inside so your sound will sound a bit better than most average lower end TWS earbuds. One thing that I've noticed is that this does not get that loud at 100% volume but also it doesn't get as quiet at the lowest volume like I would have loved if I could lower down the volume a bit quieter and also got it louder when in need. Talking about the microphones, the microphones aren't great either as you can imagine this is a stemless earbuds not unlike the earpods the mic is way up here with the ear so picking up noise from your mouth is kind of difficult for this earbud so yeah the mic quality is average at best talking about the functionalities of the buttons you can do all the basic functions such as tap double tap triple tap or summon your uh, assistant and such to sum up the battery experience the battery experience was pleasant as well what wasn't pleasant about the battery is the charging mechanism this still uses micro usb in 2022 which is kind of disappointing to say the least because my 800 taka lenovo lp ones come with a usb-c connector as well so other than that the battery life is pretty good for its price point we get around three hours slight more than three hours in the earbuds themselves which consists of a 46 milliamp power battery while the case can recharge these earbuds for three to four times so basically if you do the math i'm really bad at math it's around the 12 to yeah 9 to 12 hours of battery life easily out of this thing so i myself have like recharged them after every three days so i mean i'm not that much of a heavy user in the tws department i use wired uh, earphones mostly when i'm at home i just use my tws when i'm out and about overall this is a really decent package for its price point which is around 14.49 taka you can get this officially with three months of warranty from gadget and gear bd so that has been it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed this video please do subscribe and leave a like down below and that's me signing off see you in our next one